Welcome to the show. You know, this is the Ask Rosebud Show, and this is my only show. I, I, I'm, I'm really happy about last week. We, we got into it, man. We really got into it concerning this game, and, and, and I really hope you didn't think it was going to be any different this week because we, we, we finna get into it. We have a station where we can really kick it, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I already told you, but let me tell you again, the number is 347-838-8420, and I want to hear from you. I'm not going to be doing the Monday shows anymore, so I, I think you just you know, better be concentrating on this show. Uh, this is brought to you by, the show is brought to you by AskRosebud.com, www.AskRosebud.com. There you can find those keys, those lost keys to the vehicle that you're going to try to use to catch in. <laughs> Call in and holler at me. Also, I want you to tune in to the Man Mindset Show. Uh, that's on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We both have sites that you can check out. Mine is AskRosewood.com. Uh, Steve, the Dean Williams site is ManMindset.com. My confidence courses are the truth, and my coaching is just an extension of that truth. So I want you guys to understand it's there for you. My confidence courses are for the dudes who are not, you know, 100% sure, you know, of, of yourself. And my coaching is, you know, for you guys out there who want to run into situations and need some direction or just, you know, to talk. I see I got a couple of callers. I'm going to get to you in a minute. Uh, I just want to get through to this basic intro. Uh, remember, you know, since I'm only doing one show, I'm going to combine them. So, you know, we're going to have – Regular guys, and we're going to have you street guys on here. So don't get the impression that I don't want to speak uh, with you guys who are not interested in pimping. I do. I want to speak to all of you. I just have to combine it into this one show. Um, I really want to talk about a lot more than sex, you know. So I want to talk about what makes a man desirable to women. Uh, I, that is what I, you know, want to focus on. And if you go to work every day or if you just have, you know, holes, whatever, you, you want to know these things that we're going to talk about. So just make sure you apply them because they're all applicable. <laughs> applicable. Yeah, applicable. <laughs> if, you, if you, you know, listen to it with the understanding of what they're intended for. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about making your conversation effective. You know, there's a lot of things you have to do to make your conversation effective. You know, first thing that a lot of you guys don't really understand is that in order to make your conversation effective, you have to have some sort of purpose in life. You just can't be a, a zero dude doing nothing and don't have nothing to look forward to. You have to have some kind of purpose. I see both of these guys got questions, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a question before I actually get into what I'm going to talk about. But well, let's see, 720882, what's your first name and what's your uh, question? Hey, Rose, bud. It's Latif, man. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, well, sir, I got a question for you, man. Uh, <clears throat> you were saying back in the day, man, that uh, it wasn't Shantae. You said he used to knock bras off on the regular. And you were saying that it took you a little longer to knock bras, but you was able to hold on to a bra longer. Yeah, and I know she's talking about conversation, man. But you think that maybe his conversation was better than yours, man, and knock about faster, or what do you think his advantage was and your disadvantage was? Well, uh, there, there, there wasn't a, a advantage or a disadvantage. See, uh, and you got noise in the background, man. If you could kill that so we could talk for a minute, that would be cool. Uh, okay. What, what, what I'm... Go ahead, shoot. Okay, so so what what I'm what I'm saying, man, is it, it, it's no advantage or disadvantage in that. That's just our different styles, you know. Uh, he did have a different style, I mean, he was way more jovial than I was. He was, uh, you know, I was very serious about mine. You know, I don't want to joke. You know, he would be, you know, he we was he was the uh, Jeff and I was Mutt. You know, uh, he was the good guy and I was the bad guy. And we caught. Anytime it was two or three bras, we always came up with them, them, not always, but we came up with them bras because we understood his style was his style. It didn't make him better than me. 
because I had the same amount of holes as he had. It just took me a little longer to catch a hole because of, you know, taking a serious bitch to fuck with me. He, he, al he also, I, I'm pretty sure I wrote this in the book too, he also lost way more holes than me. You know, he just catch her for a day, two days, three days, whatever. I didn't really catch like that. I call, when I called her, bro, I had her. Because not that I was better, just that's the way my mind, my mentality was. His was, you know, get paid, you know, period. And who's to say who's the best? Because we've been with each other for 30 years. And, and I never did better than him, and he never did better than me. We just had two different philosophies. You got, you got that, bro? Dig. Yeah, I can dig it, man. Okay, let me, all right, man, let me, let me get on with this. Thank you, man. That was a good question, man. Um, I see you guys in there. Uh, you don't, if you have a question, remember, you got to hit one so that I can know that, to get to you. But in order to make your conversation be effective, you got to be prepared. You just have to be prepared. I'm not one of these dudes that want to tell you to just go, you know, stand at the top of the mountain and jump off the goddamn cliff, man. I, you know, fuck that. I'm at least say know how to swim. You know, I'm going to at least say be done, done some smaller jumps first. You know, I'm going to give you something, you know, to do. A lot of motherfuckers just tell you to do it and say, fuck it, woo woo, do it. Now, you can do that because that works too. That works also. But that's a, that's a tough work. That, that, you know, a lot of things can happen with that. But I'm not going to get into that. So you got to remember the ABPs of life. Uh, you know, I keep telling you guys I got these ABPs. And if you down with them, <laughs> you're going to always be prepared because that's what it means, always be prepared. You, you remember the Boy Scout model is be prepared. Now, the reason I say that is because in a sense, you know, we're all like Boy Scouts. You know, when we're coming up in life, you know, or trying to learn the game, you know, we're like scouts because we don't really know what's out there but we still coming because we've done certain things in preparation, and it prepares us for what we're going to do. Now, of course, we don't know exactly what's out there, and this is what makes us like scouts, because with our understanding, we know how to attack a problem that occurs when we're on this hike or whatever. Now, I said that because... You have to understand the Boy Scouts have a purpose. And my uh, whole point to you is that if you want your conversation to matter, you better have a fucking purpose in life. Now, I don't mean have some kind of, you know, grand overall scheme of life that everybody's going to hear and want to accept and, and just adopt for their, their scheme because it's so great. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying don't come in with nothing. Make sure you have some kind of foundation you know, a, a purpose that's going to be your foundation. Now, with the knowledge, you know, that you should gain learning, you should, be, you know, be learning as you live your life, you know, you should be able to reinforce that you're going to stay out there. If, if you just out, let's say you a, a dude go to work every day and, you know, you, you, you go to catch abroad on the weekends or whatever, and all you're doing is just going to catch a broad, and you ain't really doing nothing to actually catch a broad, you know. See, your, your life ain't going to uh, reinforce that you're having the right idea. It's not going to reinforce that what you're doing is going to uh, net you a broad. It's going to do the exact opposite. It's just going to do the opposite because if you don't actually uh, learn little things from, don't have to be day, daily, but I learn daily. You, you can too if you look to learn daily, but it don't have to be daily. But if you don't learn little things, they're not going to reinforce what you're trying to do in your future. So you have to understand that. You, you're going to stay at, you're going to have to always stay getting at a woman, no matter if you're a pimp or if you're a dog known uh, a square dude, go to work every day. You know, when you come home in your spare time, after you didn't get whatever you need to do around your house, have yourself, you know, whatever, you're going to be getting it broad. That's the whole key to what we're going to talk about tonight. You know, it ain't about no pimp shit. This ain't no pimp shit. This is some doggone shit for dudes that's trying to make their conversations matter. Now, I got so many doggone phone calls. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. None of you have question marks up. So make sure you hit one if you want to ask the question. But 
since there's no question marks, I'm going to keep rolling. The thing that I really want you to understand is that you got to be willing to use the knowledge you gain. You got to use it outside of your house. You got to use it outside of your living room, away from the computer. You got to understand that. That's essential. If you are trying to come up, you can't just be, you know, fucking with the computer trying to make yourself be all about whatever you're talking about you being about. You know, I always have hated you dudes that need definitions. You know, what's the definition of a player? What's the definition of a Mac? Come on, man. You guys need to understand what I'm telling you, what we're going to get to talk about now. Because there's a such thing as players, Macs, hustlers. There's such thing as those dudes. But none of them needed a definition for them to be who they were, who, whichever, you know, field they're in. They didn't need no definition because they just like me. They was that person. And that's how they gravitated towards it. You know, I don't know. Maybe you guys trying to put a square into a round hole. I don't really know. A square peg into a round hole. I don't know. But I'm kicking this shit so you can get sharp, at least about the game. I don't know if you're going to get sharp as a dude in the game because you have to do the shit. You can't just hear it. You know, most of you motherfuckers just want to hear some shit. All right. Now, is this another question or is this the same, brother, 72? No, I think I got you already, 72. No, I'm going to go. Okay. When you hear, you know, me say, me say shit like you got to be able to see through muddy water and spot dry land, that means that you're in a situation to where, you know, it's like you're on a journey and you don't know what lies ahead. You know something's there and you are prepared because the courses I, you know, gave you prepared you. But you're prepared because through due diligence to the courses, you know that you can spot things. You, you can spot things about to happen before they happen. And you can think of what to do for when they happen. See, this is the importance of having some goddamn purpose. And this is all about a conversation, so hang with me and understand. I'm not going to give you no easy shit to hear. I'm going to give you some real shit to listen to and swallow if you want to, if you can. It's not about, you know, all the bullshit you be hearing. I'm giving you the real. So, you, you know, you did your due diligence. You didn't, you know, did what you can for the courses. Now you can spot shit. You know, spotting things help you catch. Otherwise, you have to be able to interpret information from a woman who is straight out lying to you. And she has no reason to be lying. She just is a liar. And, and you can tell she's lying. But what is really uh, amazing <laughs> is that she don't even realize you're quizzing her. She's just lying. Otherwise, I'm saying you run into more women like that then you run into women that are really worth talking to. So you have to understand what the hell you doing when you open your mouth to this female. All right, now, you have to be sharp like this. Man. See, this, this, this is my thing. This is what I want to do. I want to make you sharp. I don't want you to be some sucker motherfucker running around here with your dick hard and you got to fuck. Fuck that. No. I want you to be a sharp motherfucker, and when you get ready to fuck, you better know how to fuck, because, you know, that's all a part of it. I ain't saying, you know, fucking ain't a part of it. I'm just saying, you know, I don't want you to be no fucking sucker. I don't want you to be no motherfucker running around your dick hard, because every bitch, square bitch, every hoe, all know a hard dick ain't got no motherfucking conscience. All you got to do is grab that motherfucker's dick, and you're going to get him. He thinks, oh, he getting this pussy, but no, you know what you're going to do, bitch. And I know what you're going to do. That's why I'm trying to arm you motherfuckers out there that's listening to me with what's going on. Plus, even though I'm talking all this shit right now, we're going to talk about conversation, but we got to talk about a foundation first. You know, fuck you if you don't want to get real. I want to be real. I ain't talking about no bullshit. So the reason I say you have to be sharp like this is you have to understand that life is not a game. And those of you who are out in the streets, you know, you got to understand things others can't even conceive, let alone understand. So you have to understand 
that regardless if you're in the streets, if you go to work, you have to understand these things. This is life. This is not a game. It's not no fucking joke. Something could happen to your goddamn ass. Catching women to fuck on or catching them to pimp on. You have to develop a vision on life that supersedes any other vision available to you because you're going to be living according to your own rules, your rules only. This is something else you got to understand. You ain't going to live by my rules. If you did, you'd be having way more money than you have right now. You'd be having way more progress than you have right now. But you ain't going to live by my rules no matter how goddamn attractive they sound. You're going to live by what the hell you think because you've grown. That's what you've got grown for. So you can do what the fuck you wanted to do. Yeah, I know that. So your rules supersede any other rules. In short, forget trying to be cute or cool, any of that goddamn shit. This shit is not cool, nor is it cute. It's your life, and if you're not careful, you're going to lose it. And I'm very serious about that. Now, we're going to get deeper into this and relate it to your conversation. And I'm going to show you how to make it take effect in a woman's mind. you got to understand there's a way to do shit. And if you fucking want to catch a bra, I don't give a fuck what you want to catch her for. You better understand this shit I'm telling you is real. And if you do it, you're going to have action that catches. When I get to telling you this stuff, don't memorize the words because the sentences are not important. It's the intentions behind the sentences. It's like Mike Tyson, whatever punch he threw, he had bad intentions. So it didn't matter if it was an uppercut or a jab or a right cross. Either one of them, if they connected, they was going to do damage. And this is what I want you to understand about the sentences you use when you get to fucking with a broad, man, don't get to, you know, listen to what I'm saying and think you got to say exactly what I'm saying. No, you don't. You just got to do what I'm doing when I'm saying what I'm saying. Now, what you need to, what you will actually see and, and understand, well, you probably already see and understand. Now, that's, that's why you're on this motherfucker right now, because you know I ain't no joke. I'm, I'm for real. You know, I am real, and I'm one of the only people you have contact with that know the kind of information you seek. Now, I, I'm one of the few people that actually have this information that's available to you. Now, before we, you know, get deep, I want you to digest that. You either think I got it or I don't. Now, you can think what you want to think about me having it. That's on you. But... I do have it, and I'm sharing it. I'm not uh, afraid to speak this shit. You know, I do know it's valuable. I do know you motherfuckers can support me if you want to. Don't I don't I don't trip because I'm not dependent on being supported by you. I have other things going for me, but I do know what I'm talking about. I know how to catch a bitch. <laughs> Period. I know how to get this pussy. If I want some pussy, I know how to get that pussy, period. I'm getting it tonight. I'm not playing, bitch. I don't, don't talk to me if you don't want me to fuck you, period. I'm going up in them guts if, if that's what I'm going to do. Now, if I'm trying to get some out of you, you know what I'm saying? Besides the pussy, I know the pussy is the last thing on my mind. I'm getting whatever the fuck I'm talking about, you know, before I start thinking about some pussy. So I'm versatile like that. I've been both of these dudes, a big old ass motherfucking square and a fly ass goddamn pimp. I didn't bend this shit. So don't be mad at me because I can choose what the fuck I want to do. That's me. That's what I'm supposed to do. Choose. Pick and choose. Now, so I know, I know many of you have seen the purposes and the values of, of the courses, you know, and you bought them. You know, but those of you who, like, have yet to buy them, you need to open your eyes and visualize what can be with you. See, you know, you guys, if you're trying to get some knowledge, because you know what, I can't turn you out. I, I don't even want to try to turn any of you out. But if you have some uh, situations or, you know, you have things that have occurred in your quest to become this 
magnificent gentlemen, then of course, you can talk to me about them. This is the value of me. If you one of them brothers that are out there trying to pimp bitches and you got some kind of situation that even today, to, right on this show, you can ask me because there is nothing that happens to you that have not happened to me 30 times. And I have solved them at least 15 different ways and got all 30 of them solved. There's nothing you can think of that has not happened to me. I had a brother call me, talking about the broad and took some pills, man, you know, woo, woo. Man, I didn't have so many broads take pills, you know, trying to kill themselves. You know, bitches be tripping. So, you know, I, I, I had to tell him what to do. Told, calmed him down, told him what to do. Nigga called me today, talking about, man, he got to hit me with 500 because, man, that shit was a lifesaver for him. I get paid for what I do, man, so if you don't want to fuck with me, don't. You can listen and get I have the shit. This this shit ain't gonna do nothing but get you to the motherfucking gate. And when the gun shoots for you to go, you're gonna say how fast to start off. <laughs> Cause you ain't gonna know shit. You just gonna know there is something to know. That's all. But see, you, you gotta understand some shit, man. You have to understand that you know when you're out there, and let's say you're not thinking about pimping. You shouldn't be thinking of me as a pimp. You know, you should think that I have gotten educated and I didn't learn how to interpret what made me irresistible to women. And I'm sharing it. You know, I've done that and put it in layman's terms so any of you can understand it. It's all there for you. This is what I've done. This is what I've been doing. That's what I'm going to keep doing. And as you listen to me, you're going to say, Man, this motherfucker is sharp. Now, as far as the conversation, let, let's, let's get into that. I know that you want to. But see, that's why I do it like I want to. Most of you ain't paid for shit. So you have to go through me just talking before you hear all this golden wisdom that I'm going to give you. But what do you think is important when you getting at a woman? Now, that's, that's a question, but I'm not expecting you to answer it. But that's a question for you to be thinking about. Because, see, if you don't know that answer, how are you going to catch? <laughs> you, I'm telling you, man, two and two is four. I know that. A lot of pimps don't. Now, it could be a number of things in reality. But for this topic, the most important thing when you're getting at a woman is your timing. Timing? You ask. <laughs> yeah. See, in every conversation you have with a woman, there is an opportune moment for you to move her. But most of you guys won't because you don't know nothing about timing. Then what makes your timing so important is that you know right after timing, the next important thing, the next most important thing is the way you flow. Timing and flow. Now, these are two things that we're going to kick it about in subtle ways because I don't try to tell you come see the cat so you can read. <laughs> I don't kick it with you like that. I drop scenarios on you. And I hope, I mean, I see all you guys on here Somebody, you know, I need questions. Somebody press one. You know, all you can. Oh, there you go, baby. I see you. You know, press one so so I can uh, get some questions, man. But 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 let me before I get you four hundred five. Let me say this four hundred five seven hundred six. I'm gonna get you in one second. If you have these two things, timing and flow, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. If you have these two things together your chances of catching a woman have increased significantly, maybe five times, just completely increased that much simply because of that. I'm going to get back at that and explain it in one moment, but right now I'm getting at 405706. What's your first name, bro? What's your question? Hey, man, this is Will Johnson, man, from the FB Facebook, man, saying what's, what's up, up, Will? Man, I'll what's positive with this you? way. Man, I got a, right. uh, a scenario. I got a scenario what happened to me last night. Uh, me and this chick went out. We went to go see Godzilla. You talking about Tommy? 
you know, like in a movie theater, man, it's like the, the music is loud, this part is loud or whatever. Man, I'm talking about my timing was perfect, like chopping up with this female. This is a female I didn't, um, you know, it, I guess you can call it square or whatever. I didn't think it was square. Going to the movies is way cooler than doing some of the shit motherfuckers are doing these days. But anyway, man, she was kind of acting stuck up a little bit, man. And, uh, you know, and I'm like in her ear, you know, when uh, the music is going down, man, we talking about the movie, man. And the chick was like pretty much open, ready to go, like loving me pretty much, man, when the uh, movie was over, man. And this is in a movie set, you know what I'm saying? So the timing, you're talking about timing and, uh, you know, speaking to a woman presentation, oh, man, I mm -hmm. feel like I did. Damn good job last night, man. And hey, let me tell you something, man, about that, man. And, and, and you know, uh, anything you have to say, if you didn't thought about it, it's very important. So, you know, forget what people think. But, but, but oh, timing. Yeah. See, see, people don't understand. They just don't understand the, the, the intricacies of conversation. Conversation is an art. And, and if you yeah. are actually paying attention to it, you will see when you can jab. You will see when you got a, a, a uppercut yeah. you can throw. You know, you will yeah. see, man, yeah. and, and, and that doggone shit. And you was doing that, and, you know, you might not have looked at it like that, but now that you didn't look oh. over and saw it, you man, see all I, the moves was you was making was perfect. Yeah, I was looking at it like that, though, when I was in there. Oh, I knew what okay. I was now, doing, man. Hey, 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 let me tell you something, man. You have to have a course. Uh, man, I'm supporting you, man. Yeah, I bought the course, man. Okay, hey, bro, man, okay. Let me put this in there, let hey, me put this they, in there man. Go ahead. Huh, let me say this, man. A couple of years ago, man, I thought I knew a lot of shit and was just this big motherfucker. But, man, really, you know, paying attention to your shit, man, and hearing conversations, man. I used to uh, listen to um, payroll and shit, man, and just hearing niggas and really seeing that confidence in their voice. Man, I didn't grow to a whole nother level, but I'm saying years ago, I thought I was a nigga and I didn't know shit, man. But now, oh, uh, man, but your course, though, man, I practice it, man. I didn't roll my own notes. It worked, y'all. Whoever listening out there, man, it helped you build yourself up. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. And, man, I tip my hat because, like, I told, I wrote you a message. I was like, man, if you really sell that for what it's, it's really worth, man, you you like a billionaire right now. You know what I'm saying? On the hey, low hey, hey, you know what? I, matter of fact, Will Johnson, Will, yeah, I do remember you now. You did you did send me that message you just said that I, I'm selling yeah. it for too cheap. <laughs> hey, oh, but man, you know what? Let me, you. Let, me, let me just say this to you, man. See, the thing about the course what it does is it makes you see shit that you never yeah. looked for before. And when you see these things, these little things, like you said, you was looking to do this. You was trying to jab. You was trying to uppercut. And you was being successful at it. And that's the value yeah, it, it, of it having a plan. Let, let me, let me yeah. finish this. That, that's the value of having a planned attack. Because when it works, it builds hella confidence in you because you can see what you're doing working that's why i tell you have a plan a lot of people tell you not to have no plan your shit was planned and i'm glad to hear will i'm glad to I hear did. that man. i'm gonna give you I one did. more what? thing to say brother then i got to go to the next uh, count all right oh uh, yeah 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 for sure man i just want to say man practice on that bit y'all out there practice on being natural man i was like really trying to be natural with the shit man and they really helped me out too but all right bud man all right man be cool man uh, this yeah. next this next caller, uh, one all ones. Uh, I hope this is not a knucklehead, but uh, I remember all ones being a knucklehead. Uh, uh, one one one, whatever. What's your first name and what's your question? Hey man, it's, it's Gerard from Harlem. I, I I think I think it's because like when you um, my phone got like a block on it, so any number that got a block on, it, I think it just comes up as one one one. I'm not oh, okay, I'm not the knucklehead. Okay. I promise. <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah, um, All right, man. What's happening? I don't know. Like, I, I always wonder, like, you know, when 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 dudes uh, hear or or get like a, um, a stereotypical view of what a, a pimp's conversation is like, they always think they gotta say these um, things. You know what I mean? And I just, yeah, I just I wanted, I, yeah, I, I wanted wanted to hear your uh, your take on like. Cause I know she said, you know, it doesn't really matter what you say or if you're saying the fly stuff. But when you use the hip they use these, they usually sound so cool and smooth. I just wanted to know what, why was that? Do you know what it is, man? You, you, you guys, you just really miss so much. You just miss it. This is very obvious. And when I tell you this, you're gonna say, "Damn, you're not gonna really believe it." But these dudes have been out 
and they have tried different things. Like that brother that just got off, like Will, they didn't try shit, and they didn't got responses that was positive. And these responses is, you know, their head was already big, you know, big head motherfucker. That's why he think he could pimp. But now he didn't got these responses, and bitches just, you know, responding to him and flocking to what he's saying. He might not even call a bitch yet. But he's just seeing all these results, and his head is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and pretty soon his voice changed. He, he might have a voice like I sound now, but after he really gets fly, his voice is going to change. But, Man, you know what I'm saying? He's going to start sounding like that when he talks. You know, his, his pitch, everything's going to change, and then everything he think of is going to almost rhyme, and it's quite accidental. You know, he, you know it just, it's, it's cool for it to rhyme. And most dudes, in reality, when they really, really pivot, they just be saying shit that rhymes because they know timing is very important. So they phrase all of their sentences. They don't just talk. They say it in a phrase, like a song. You know, they're, 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 they know what they're fitting to say, so they know how to say it. Just like I'm doing right, right now. I know exactly what to say, and I surely know how to say it. And I'm going to do this when I'm talking to a woman, and I'm going to have her following my conversation. See, pimps know that. <laughs> and they, 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 they just, <laughs> they don't necessarily rhyme, but the way they talk does, does is, is beautiful, is poetic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, I, I definitely could do you, man. Okay. Thanks for that. That was a good question. All right, you brothers. Um, let's see, as far as speaking to a woman, see, when you speak to a woman, you have to look past her eyeballs. You have to look deep into her eyes. And you have to practice this. And the way you practice this is in the fucking mirror, at home, looking deep into your eyes. And then you take your little nephew and your little niece, and you play a game, and you tell them, let's see who is the first one to bat their eyes. And you look and you play this game with them. But what you're doing is learning how to look deep into a bitch's motherfucking eyes. Because if you can look at this bitch for two, three minutes without blinking, she's going to be hypnotized. I'm telling you. You got to know this shit. And I'm giving it to you for free, you motherfuckers. If you don't pick it up, if you don't learn it, it's your goddamn fault. I'm giving this shit to you. I got so much shit I'm going to tell you about tonight, about how to catch. And when you do it, you ain't going to send me shit. I don't give a fuck. I already know. So. Not only do you have to look uh, deep into her eyes, you have to speak not slow, but, but calmly, you know, unless something is a, it's an excited type moment, you know, you can speak, you know, you might be at a concert and the band was great, you're excited about it, you know, okay. But you know, generally, you want to be calm. You know, your tone has to be kind of medium you know, almost excited, but not excited. You got to introduce yourself first. You know, before you get to talking, make sure you know who you are talking to. This is basic 101 catch a bitch. I always, I always speak about standing on what you believe. And it's ultra important for you to have something you believe in if you want to catch a wrong. You, you can't have a, a, a non-agenda and go out thinking you're going to catch. I mean, you just can't. You can if you want to, but you're going to go out tonight, tomorrow, the next night. You're going to go out hell of nights thinking that shit because you ain't going to catch. You ain't got no fucking agenda. You ain't got no plan. You ain't got no reason to catch. You know, I told you, man, fuck that hard dick bullshit, man. You know, you got to have a whole bunch of motherfucking game. You got to have real game. And you can't have no, uh, the kind of shit you think is game, I guess. Put it that way. That shit ain't game. Because, you know, and I ain't talking about being a pimp. You know, I hate that goddamn shit about you motherfuckers confused what I'm just genuine information I give you with some pimp shit. Man, I'm not telling you how to charge no bitch. 
I'm telling you how to catch a bitch. Two different things. See, if you don't have shit planned out, first of all, let me ask you a question. Let, 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 let me, let, let's say you just met a broad. Now, she could be fine or not. That kind of shit don't matter to me. Whatever she looks like now is nothing like she's going to be looking after a week fucking with me any goddamn way. I know that. So I ain't hardly worried about what this broke bitch look like when I meet her. Period. I'm not. Now, even when I was a square, because I was, listen, I've been a pimp and I've been a square. I've, I was a pimp for 30 years and I've been a square for like 13 or 14 years. So. I've done both of them, but but I said, you know, even when when I when I meet a square bitch, just fucking with me is going to do something to her mentality and it's going to change how she looks. Because I don't want to pick on the bitch, but I got so many things to talk about, so much exciting things going on in my life that this bitch, once I start telling her about this shit, she just gonna think, God damn, this motherfucker. You know, I done wrote all these books. I got, I got this radio show. I got all kind of shit going. So, man, I'm not no, you know, motherfucker that just need to pimp some kind of bitch. Man, quit thinking of me like that, you motherfuckers. I'm being real with you. I'm telling you what's happening, man. You know, let's say you just met the bitch and the bitch could be fine or whatever. You know, you're supposed to start off, you know, with, with a, a, a light question that's kind of funny, kind of not, but it's got to be a real question because the bitch going to answer it. So you start off with something like, you say it just like this, what in the hell is a woman like you doing in here alone? Or if she's with her girlfriends, you say, with girlfriends. Now, you got to understand this goddamn shit that I'm going to tell you. See, I'm going to tell you what make a motherfucker like me a motherfucker. Shit, I know what I'm going to tell you. You got to understand the statement or the question you ask is actually irrelevant. <laughs> it don't mean shit. But you want to have four or five responses that she can make in your mind. You're going to have these in your mind. You, 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 you don't want to... You know, just ask anything and don't have no, you know, thoughts about what her responses could be. You know, you want to know or you want to have, you know, an idea what they can be. And when she makes an answer, I'm telling you, man, if you do this, man, it's almost like making them say what you want them to say because they're going to come with one of the things you're thinking. The power of suggestion is a motherfucker, man. And when you're a confident motherfucker, the power you're having, you're exposing, or you're using over this woman is so devastating, she barely can, you know, contain herself. She barely can. See, I talked to Steve about this, Steve, Steve, Steve Dean Williams. I talked to him about this. You know, I can't go nowhere without bitches fucking with me. You know, my, my woman with me, I'm by myself, my daughter with me. It don't matter. I don't care. I, I could be in my pajamas, you know, just going to the store to get whatever. Just, man, bitches fuck with me because they just <laughs> they just know that I, they, somehow they know that I know what the fuck to say to their motherfucking ass, and they just can't wait. So I, I just tickle their insides with my conversation. But you got to start off with, with a question like that. And, 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 and when they make their, you know, response, what you would like to see at this point, actually, what would you like to see at this point? That's another question you need to keep in your head. You know, what's important to a broad, you know, blah, 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 you know, as far as catching her? And, and, and what would you like to see after your initial statement to abroad, because a lot of you cats think it's all over after that. <laughs> you ain't really got much more to say after that. That first, you know, statement, <laughs> I guess it was a home run in a couple of games, but this game is only, you know, like about to get you through out at first, and you don't know what the fuck to say. See, you, you just start speaking to her. So when is a good time to begin to check the signs? Now, listen, 
everything I'm talking about has to do with the art of conversation. Now, did you know that there are signs that you should be aware of in a conversation? Oh, you, you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know that. Well, those guys that have that course, <laughs> they know that goddamn shit because knowing the signs is what is part of building your confidence. If you don't know the signs, how can you see them? I certainly ain't finna fucking tell you what they are, but I know they're there. <laughs> but and I, I'm gonna tell you so much about them that you're gonna believe they're there too. So if you don't have it planned out, you know, I mean, you don't have to plan have it planned out to the letter. You know, you, you don't have to have some kind of exact plan. You know, but a plan that puts you into catch mode, that puts you into thinking about what you finna say and do, you know, and all of this is finna add up to you having this motherfucking bitch that you fucking with or that you're thinking about fucking with or that you're getting ready to fuck with. You know, just, just, you know, just make sure it puts you in a catch mode. If, if you don't have this shit planned out, you're just going to have a hard time catching. And this is why you guys have hard times catching. Because you are just out. You're not out doing anything in particular. You're just out. Now, if you was me or my buddy, see, you could be out and not be doing shit. You, you could actually be actually hiding, have on a hat that you've got to pull down over your face because you know you're going to get some action and you're still going to get it. So, I mean, you know, unless you like that, you know, you got to be like what I'm talking about. So you just have to understand. You, you guys, you know, you, you got dudes who are going to tell you, you know, not to plan your conversation. But I'll tell you why you should have a planned conversation. And don't get me wrong. I don't mean a word-for-word -word verbatim planned conversation. I'm just saying the whole, you know, routine idea how you're going to do some shit you know, it could be ad-libbed, but, you know, you, you have to know when to mash, first and foremost. You have to know when to mash, and your conversation planned will show you because as long as you, you get to a certain point in this planned conversation, you know it's time to do whatever it's time to do. You know, right now you just got, um, at the beginning of the conversation, you're just really talking to her two, three minutes, you know, into the conversation, you're giving her some kind of indications of where you're coming from as far as you are, what you're about. You know, two, four, five, six minutes into the conversation, and, you know, as long as she's been, you know, responding correctly and shit, I'm going to, you know, see what I can do with her, what kind of shit she like, you know, and, and so on and so forth. I got my shit planned out. And the way I'm going to play, you know, work it is the way the broad responds. I'm going I'm to roll with how she responds. So, so what I'm saying is, you have to know when to mash, you have to know when to fold, you have to know when to leave. I mean, it's just like that uh, song the gambler had, uh, Kenny, what's his name, Kenny Rogers or whatever his name is, you know when to fold them <laughs> and all that kind of goddamn shit. <laughs> but you, you understand what I'm saying, right? What I'm really trying to get you to understand is there's a lot of shit you guys are not thinking about when it's actually, when, when you are getting or getting ready or even actually at a woman, you, you, you stop thinking. And, and, and that's, that's what your, your planned conversation does for you. It lets you think. It, it, it promotes thinking. If, if, if it don't go as planned or you don't get the responses that you're looking for, your planned conversation will let you know it. And it's not really planned anyway because when you plan a conversation, you don't plan it like a written speech. You just say, well, man, I'm going to talk about this, uh, point A. Uh, this, the topic is catching. And then in catching, you're going to have uh, uh, the topic is A, a catching, and then uh, the subtopic, one, is going to be what you talk about or, you know, how you start or whatever. And then you're going to have 1A, 1B, 2, 2A, 2B. You're going to have all these. That's the plan. But, you know, ad-libbing, the actual conversation, you know, but you're going to follow that plan. You know, you have to do that shit. And you just got to understand, in a pimp situation, you have to play it a little more slicker than that, than what I just said. But as a pimp, 
you know, you you already told them about you in the first three minutes, and you know, you fell throughout for six minutes, like I said. You know, you see, I'm a I'm a time freak, and I ain't fucking with a bitch too long before I get her to, you know, to the car. I just ain't doing it. No, while we headed to the car, I'm gonna grab her and pull her towards me, and you know, I'm gonna pop my pop the locks and and let and, and I, I know simply because she came to the car, you know, to fuck with me don't mean she want to pay me. You know, if I'm you know on the pimp tip, you know, I already know. You know, she knows what's important because I already told her. But see, there's a, 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 a working Joe uh, just off work, you know, coming from the bar. When he got the broad going to the car, you could use these same tactics. These are aggressive tactics. But you don't really want nothing more than, you know, some sex, if that's the case. Then you, when you use the, uh, pull her towards you, make sure you say something, you know, in her ear. And then if she don't, you know, make a little motion like that that wasn't comfortable for her, she just lets you do it, the next time you pull her, you just nibble on that motherfucker. You know, let, let the bitch know. Pimp nigga ain't going to do that shit. Not like that. Not then at that point. But the point happens at the same time for both dudes. The, the dude going to work and the pimp, you just got to handle it different ways. Don't be mad at me because I know how to handle both of them. Shit. That's why you fucks with me because I'm a motherfucker and I know this shit. Now. What you got to understand also is, is that your ABPs are very important to you. You know, you have to always be playing everything you do, every uh, move you make, every step, you know, everything has to have intentions. You just can't be doing it. This is how you catch. You know, you, you, it's a, it's a, you, uh, uh, a lion don't catch his meal accidentally. Shit. He, I don't give a damn if it's 150 motherfucking uh, zebras standing in front of his goddamn ass. Unless he do something deliberate, he ain't eating. Same with you motherfuckers. You ain't eating if you don't do something deliberate. Now get your shit together and understand what I'm saying. Now. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, I, I, you know, know that if the broad is, like, in my doggone car, so now I'm going to use this verbatim shit that I know that I didn't plan out. You know, because, you know, now, you know, when I'm going to try to get them to say uh, something to let me know that, you know, they want to be, uh, not be with me to pay me, but they want to be around me a little more. They liking me. I'm, I'm trying to fill them out to see if they liking me. And I ain't finna have no whole bunch of conversation about this goddamn shit. You know what I'm finna do? I'm finna pull over and pop my locks. Hey, look, you know, I got something to do. And uh, I'll catch you a little bit later. This bitch got to tell me no. She don't want to get out. Or she getting her fucking ass out. Get your ass out, bitch. I mean, you've been talking to me 20 minutes and you ain't finna make no decisions. You got to make some kind of motherfucking decisions. You ain't got to tell me you want to hope for me or none of that kind of goddamn shit. But that would be cool, too, because I done had that happen that fast. But you're going to make some kind of goddamn decisions. You ain't finna motherfucking be fucking with me just talking to me, and you ain't finna make no decisions, bitch. Like you motherfucking Monty Hall-ass motherfuckers. You guys let a bitch ride with you for three days. This bitch ain't made no decisions. Bud ain't doing that because you don't have to, bro. So, you know, I just let them know. I got to go. You know, but I ain't really saying it in a mean way. I'm just letting them know I'm busy as hell. You know, and I might have been fake, you know, made my phone, told my bra to call me, and, you know, I might have been told one of my bitches to call me in 15 minutes, you know, so I can interrupt what I'm saying, and then when the motherfucker call, oh, shit, it's important, I got to go. You know, something like that. I'm playing, always. I don't just be with no fucking bitch. I'm playing, always, always be playing. You know, everything I do is about playing, man. If I, if I tell my bitch to call me when the bitch calls me, so I can say, bitch, what? When I say it like that, I know this whole sitting next to me, she's like, oh, my God, how the world he answer the phone like that for? And then she's going to hear why. Bitch, how much motherfucking money you got? Well, that shit, that's all the fuck you got, seven, man, 800, whatever you got. Damn, bitch, you know, that shit. Put that shit over there so I can get it later on when I can, you know, whatever I say. I'm talking to the bitch in the car, though, really. I'm not talking to my hoe. My hoe know this. She already know what the fuck to do. I'm just talking to the bitch in the car. I'm letting her hear some shit without me actually saying it to her so she don't have to feel threatened. Man, I got so much goddamn game, 
Oh, man, don't fuck with me, bitch, if you don't want to get caught. Because you're in a, a web of shit fucking with me. <laughs> I'm going to catch your motherfucking ass, too. You know, so you guys got to understand when you're talking to a woman, you have to be leading always. I'm going to take a couple more questions, and then we're going to continue. 951259. What's your first name and what's your question? Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Hey, what's up, baby? This is Stay Fly. Stay Fly, what's happening, man? What's going on, boss? All right, what's up, man? What's your question? Hey, uh, yeah, my question tonight was, uh, what, remember I asked you on Facebook, basically what it is is, uh, let's say you're approaching a female, um, when do you know when to keep going or when to stop because, you know, you're, you're not going to get any action? Like, for me, personally, you know, a lot of times, like, if I come at a woman and, like, let's say she's standing in the fucking in the grocery store or the liquor store or whatever, and anything that I really say, you know, if I feel like after my first statement, like, she tries to kind of look away or not really paying attention, I'm already, like, I'm leaving because I'm not getting any action. Is that the right thing to do or should I keep pushing in that situation? When do you know? When to walk the fuck away or when to stay and push on, you know? Let, let, me, ask, let me ask you a question, Stay Fly. What's wrong with you asking her, hey, uh, is it okay to talk to you right now or what? Because it looked like you wasn't finna be interested. What I'm saying, man, is if you, me, I'm calling the bitch on that shit. If, if I say something to you and you look like you ain't interested, before I just decide to walk off, because she might just not know how to respond to you, man. You know, she might be uncomfortable, not because she don't want to talk to you, but because you kind of shocked her or whatever. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm saying if you asked her, you know, is something going, you know, whatever, however you asked her, I don't know what she did, but if, if you asked her, you know, is there everything all right? Can I talk to you or whatever? That bitch going to tell you yes or no. And then you know to go or stay. Plus, I am a firm believer in having a planned attack. So if I ask the bitch what's going on, and, and I know, otherwise, let me just put it this way. I say, hey, baby, what's, what's up with you? I know that bitch can be positive by saying nothing. How you doing? Or that bitch can be kind of negative and not really say nothing, just say nothing. You know, or that bitch can be saying, oh, you know, nonchalant. There's several ways she can respond. All she got to do is respond in any one of those ways, and it's going to tell me if I should keep talking or not. Otherwise, if you don't have any type of situation for you to gauge what you're doing, then you subject to what the bitch doing. This is my whole point of what I'm talking about tonight. I don't want to be subject to what this motherfucking bitch is doing, you know, because she thinks that I should be. No, you are subject to what I'm doing. That's why I'm asking these questions, if it's a question type situation. You know, I get at bitches making statements, too. I don't just, you know, ask questions. That's, that's interview type shit. You know, that's cool, too, but I ain't saying don't ask questions, but that's not the only way to get at it, bitch. You can make statements, damn, damn, bitch. You know, you can tell her something about, about her, her, uh, her uh, perfume or something. You know, something uh, after about me, I go with that perfume shit about five, six minutes in because the, those, if I get to five minutes talking to a bro, I've already touched her. You know, I've already got close to her as far as, you know, leaned over and whispered to her. I've already did all this shit. I ain't talking to you five minutes without getting all that shit in because I got something that I'm trying to do. And as long as I get success at this point and that point, I'm going to know to keep going because I've gotten success. But if I get to this point and I try to lean in and say something to her and she, you know, move back away from me, hell, I know I ain't got no action. So shit, bitch, fuck you. I'm gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, I think that, I think that pretty much answers my question right there, don't you think? Yeah, man, it does, bro. I'm glad you asked it, man. If you have another question, man, hit me, man. Stay in line. Uh, all you guys that have already asked a question, if you have another question, hang up and call again because your question mark will stay up, and, and I won't know if you have a new question or not. I won't answer. So if you have another question, stay fly. Call back, and I'll hang up and call back and hit one, and, and I'll, I'll you'll be in the queue. But, but that was a good question, bro. Thanks. 301-552. What's your first name and what's your question? 
Hey, what's up, bud? This is uh, Jay from D.C. Jay, what's happening with you, bro? Hey, man, uh, I got a situation. I was dealing with this chick for about two months, and I pretty much ran out of game when Gorilla on and scared the bitch away. So I haven't seen her in a couple of days. Um, but, I, you know, I speak to her from time to time, you know, within the past few days. But um, I want to know if it's really worth my time, if you think it's worth my time trying to get the bitch back or if I should just let the bitch go or, you know, say how could I get her back without looking like a sucker. Well, what happened, man? I mean, what do you mean? You went, you, what, you beat her up or something? No, 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 no. I mean, it wasn't that severe, you know. I mean, but but I did lay hands on her, which I know, you know, say I ran out of game, so I resorted to that to that tactic, which I feel bad about that because I feel bad within myself that I let my ego get in the way. You feel me? I mean, she's a young bitch. She's only 18, so she's doing what, I guess, what an 18-year-old do, you feel me? And... I just didn't, you know what I'm saying? I, I just felt like she was just being a little bit, little bit too, too childish went in her ways, and I felt like the route that I went was going to lead me on the right path, but obviously led, led me down the wrong path. And you know what I'm saying? Now I'm like, well, damn, is it worth my time even trying to get her back? You know what I'm saying? Or you know, without like looking like a suck. I mean, she's she's still receptive to me. You know what I'm saying? But we just hang well, well, got well, back. Well, you know well, 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 well. Listen, man. You, you you say you slapped her or something, or you snatched her or whatever. I mean, you know, it just I I I, I did too much that I sh that I should have did. Damn. You shouldn't have did, you mean? Yeah, I shouldn't have did. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, listen, man. So you saying you like the raw, and you you want to try to get back at her, right? Yeah. Did you did you say that to her? Mm, yeah, I'm kind of sorta. Yeah. No, listen, man. What I'm saying is kind of sorta is why you ain't fucking with the bitch right now. You either mm -hmm. said it or you didn't. What I'm saying okay. is you can't you can't punish yourself for a mistake you made. She already doing that, so you can't mm -hmm. you know be trying to uh, see if she gonna you know s let you sneak back in or something. That that sneaky shit you doing, man. Be brave about mm -hmm. it. Look, baby, I know I fucked up, and if you don't want to fuck with me, fine. But I don't want to be wondering this shit. Let me know some shit. If you you're a real woman, you know whatever. Bitch, eighteen, she too young. So she really ain't going to do nothing but say, oh, it, it wasn't really that big of a deal. It ain't all that. It's cool. She going to tell you that. Mm. And then Sunday, next Sunday, you call me back and thank me, man, because my suggestion to you is to be serious about what you're talking about as far as, you know, letting her know. You want to know, is it is it going to be any any way you can fuck with her? Now, you can fuck mm. with her in conversation, you know, trying to find that answer, and she'll never tell you that answer. And you'd be fucking with her a long time, and it might not be the answer you want. Whereas you uh. can ask her directly, and she will tell you, well, no, nah, that shit was too fucked up. You know, and I don't want to, whatever she say, at least you will know. You understand what I'm uh. saying? You ain't got to do nothing silly. Now, the more important thing is you spoke and you said the truth. You ran out of game, man, and this is something uh. you can't do. More importantly, more important than that bitch. More important than what to do to get that bitch back, if that's the case, because she's she's water under the bridge, as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't try to get mm -hmm. back. I'm way more I'm way more softer than the bitch is. You know, you acting like the bitch all that. She really ain't. But I'm I was answering your question, but my thoughts on that is motherfuck that bitch. You know, and, and if, if you see you fucking uh, you know did something you shouldn't have did, and you kind of caused yourself a problem, man up and say fuck the bitch. I didn't fuck her off, and I ain't doing it no more. Because, see, you might end up getting the bitch back and having to be suffering for that shit the whole time you got her. You know, not that okay. she'll be doing something, not that she'll be doing something on purpose to make you suffer, but you mentally thinking about being cool going to make you suffer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can do. So, to me, I think you shouldn't even really, you know, trip about her right now, man. I think you should trip about you and understand that mm -hmm. draws ain't worth all that goddamn shit, man. You know, they only worth mm -hmm. what they worth. You can't put no more value on them, man. They only work what they work. All right, I got a lot of questions, man. I'm going to put you back in. The, in. If Appreciate you have it. a question, if you have a question, call in and uh, just press one. <laughs> All these ones, I guess it's a block number. What's your first name and uh, what's your question? Hey, man, it's just Gerard again. Gerard, um, okay, baby, what's up? Yeah, in my um. In my quest to, you know, get like a, a a bunch of different references and a bunch of 
different things I can refer to as far as like responses. Should should I be going up to females with the intention of getting a rejection? You know what I'm saying? Just to, just to get the the resp- get the reference of the response. You know what I mean? Brother, listen to me, man, and understand something. Until you understand rejection, you need to be rejected because you're going to get rejected. So I, it sounds silly, but I'm going to answer that question, yes. I think you should go up to this person and say something to her and knowing she's going to tell you you can get lost. So you can understand what you saw about her to make you think that, and you can use that in how you start doing what you do to catch. You want to learn how to catch. You don't want to be subject to what some fucking bitch doing surprising you. So make yourself in the position where you ain't going to get surprised because you already know you're going to get rejected. So when the bitch rejects you, fine. The only surprise you're going to get is when the bitch accepts you, but you're going to be ready for that too. So my point is I tell people in my course, you want to talk to 100 bitches a month. It's really a week, but uh, that scare people. I, I I say a month when I'm talking like this, but I really say a week because you you need to get rejected. None of that shit matters, man, until you hear yes. Then everything matters. A thou- if you got a thousand women and you then went through nine hundred and ninety nine of them, and that one thousandth one say yes. Yo ass don't even remember that 999 women that said no. You understand what I'm right. saying? Yeah, because, because I, I so, feel like So I've, you, I've, you, you, you want to get, not that you just want to start expecting to be rejected. You just want to not let rejection make you feel rejected. You don't want yeah. to feel defeated when you get rejected. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, okay, I, man. I if you, okay. Hey, I got I got this and more, man. Get back in queue. Hit me with another question, uh, man. I love it, man. It's cool. All right. All right, brother. Uh, nine five one two five nine. Did I just talk to you? Wait a minute. No, let's see. Nine five one two five nine. Let me. Uh, what's your first name? What's your question? You just talked to me, though. You just stay fly again. You have to stay in. If oh, I stay fly. Question. I thought I thought I just talked to you, man. Okay, uh, let me let me put you back in queue and let me get to the other brother, okay? All right. Uh, 405-706, what's your first name and what's your question? What's your question? Oh, uh, hello? 405, yeah, 405-706, uh, uh, go ahead, I got you. Oh, uh, yeah, man, this is Will again, man. Um, I'm just in the queue, but I do want to uh, say, dude, there was, he was talking about he had, he was trying to get his girl back or whatever, the, I guess he put yeah. hands on there. Dude, he he doing right as far as man. He didn't recognize what he did, man, and he he growing from that. And man, I think that's like a, a step towards in success, regardless, man. He trying to um, I think like with a, you know, I hang around dudes who be trying to you know have bitches, some not, and then dudes be like you know they kind of afraid to tell the female what's really real because you see the TV, you see the um, you know these DVDs saying are oh, you soft if you really telling the female how you feel. Nah, man, that's like really being true because a lot of dudes, a lot of men ain't out here. So when you are keeping it real with her, man, she's really going to respect that, man. As long as you're not stuck on it on the sucker, like you can't get over her or whatever's going on. But, man, I always promote, man, telling whoever female I mess with the truth, man, like kind of what I'm going through, man, or whatever. Not in no soft way, but just letting her know, man, really where I'm coming from. Hey, well, Will, doing, I'll put you back in queue, man. Hey, hey, but let me just listen. You listen to me while I answer this. But uh, that is what you real dudes are supposed to not be afraid of for a woman to. I mean, of course, you don't pour your soul out to her. You know, oh, I don't have a two pair of shoes and a couple of t shirts. You know, you don't do that kind of shit. You know, but but you know what I'm saying. You do kick it. You know, on the real man. You you, you want the brought to know. You know, your life is what your life is. Don't be expecting no more than what what it is. You know, as far as that go. Now, I don't see no more question marks, but I do want hella more questions. You know, this is only an hour and a half show. Sometimes, you know, I get all these damn questions and I, I find myself going over and shit. I may do that today. I don't know. But, you know, I want to get into the conversation. Not get into it. We already into it. The conversation. 
of, 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 see, when you're talking to a woman, like I said earlier, you got to be leading. And when you're doing what I've been just describing, you, you're actually getting her to make a commitment. I don't fuck with a bitch longer than 20 minutes without her making some kind of commitment. You know, that's why I have several, see, listen to me, you guys. This is why planning shit is what it's all about. Because I have several small commitments that she can make, you know, to roll with me, to keep rolling with me. Otherwise, I know I want her to be in the frame of mind of agreeing with what I'm saying and doing. So shit, man. To get her comfortable, I'm going to suggest uh, to go get some popcorn or a pretzel. <laughs> some shit, some little in, insignificant shit. I ain't going to mind buying that shit. You know, you have to get her to say yes to some things. And, and, and you know, you got to get her to say yes to some things that she don't ordinarily do. So, you, you know, you can ask her something like, hey, let's go shoot some pool. Man, anything to get her to say yes. You want her to say yes to something. See, you're planting seeds. And if you had my course, you would know that life, you're a gardener of your life. And you have to take care of your garden. And you have to plant seeds. So you have to understand what the fuck I'm telling you as far as a conversation go. The pool thing I just mentioned is my way of getting her in tune to saying yes preparing her mind to say yes to some shit that I'm saying. Not that she going to say yes to the big question, but I'm, I'm, I got a plan and it's working. So, now what you actually say in this situation is, you know, completely derived from what the woman says to you. But what you say has to have direction for the end of whatever you're doing. For me, in this case, the scenario is cool. So what I'm saying is it has to have – what I say to her during the pool games is not that important, but I have to be directing her towards something that we're going to do at the end of the pool game. So I'm going to say something like, uh, I'm going to whoop your butt a couple of times on this table, and then when we then when we done, we go into the planetarium and look at some planets. And I'm going to show you a planet that I just put a down payment on yesterday. I named it Rose Butters. Like that name? Now, see right here, see you guys don't really see, you guys listen to what a motherfucker's saying like the bitch doing, you crazy motherfuckers. Uh, right here, you don't see how I told her where we was going, and before she could really digest it, I, 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 I said some, some funny shit to her so that her ass, can get off of where I actually am tend to take her. Otherwise, what I'm saying is when I asked her, do she like that name, I'm letting her, I, I took her mind off of what I told her, you know, with the planet shit, you know, with some humorous shit. You know, humor will work wonders for you, you know, if you play your hand right. If you follow... Uh, this kind of scenario, but use your own likes for what you suggest to do, you'll get her to want to do some things you suggest. And if you pay attention to her, you will damn near know what she likes, and you will know what to suggest. So you have to under, excuse me, you have to understand the things that I am saying. You have to understand, first you have to believe that what I'm saying is true. And if you believe that what I'm saying is true, you know, you have action. But before you actually go to, where, to you know, wherever you said you was going to go, I told her to the planetarium, you, you, you got to make sure you get a firm commitment for what you want. Now, if you simply want some pussy, let her know. You know, watching the stars and the planets, you know, make me a little, you know, touchy-feely, and I hope you don't mind. I'll be running my hands up, up your thighs and shit. You know, you tell that bitch that. You know, if you're in the pit mode, you know, you're supposed to let her know what you, you know, started thinking about what you want her to do, you know, what you want to do with her. And when she asks what, tell her. Turn you into a money-getting woman so you can buy yourself a planet one day, you know, one day soon. I'm saying you got you to gotta do this shit so, so that she ain't going to get uncomfortable. You know, hell yeah, you said some crazy shit. 
but she ain't going to get uncomfortable. This is one way I use to get the nuts and bolts. I use this to get to the nuts and bolts of, of my desires. I don't need to use this same one all the time, but, but I will. And once you've used that same scenario six or seven times, you basically remember it, and it actually becomes a significant part of your arsenal. And it, it serves you in your future conversations. But you will ad lib each line every time. Now, six zero one three three one. What is your first name and what is your question, bro? Six zero one three three one. You there? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? I got you now. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening with your roles, man? This Wentz out of um, Jackson, Mississippi, man. What's happening, brother? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm good, man. First of all, I want to say, man, I appreciate everything you're doing, man, you know what I'm saying, putting this game out there, you feel me, because there's a whole bunch of niggas putting niggas on a whole bunch of lame-ass shit. You about the realest nigga out there. But, um... Hey, man, I can't help but be real, man, because I don't want you to do nothing wrong, man. I want you to live and prosper, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, man. But, um, man, I got some relationship advice, man. I, well, I need some relationship advice. Okay. Come on with it. I got that for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, you know what I'm saying? I was riding what you were talking about for, like, these niggas taking up with one bitch, and you kind of find out that ain't the right one. So, you know, I, I had a couple of females, man. I didn't realize that this one, you know what I'm saying, that I'm with right now is the one. But I want to know what you think about for, like, um, having boundaries in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because me, I feel like I wanted to be kind of open where we can pretty much you know, stay out a little late, shit like that. But she ain't rocking with that. You know, so I'm trying to. I want to know what you what you feel about boundaries in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Well, man, I tell you what, bro. To to be a square, now I'm talking as a square. I have hella boundaries in my relationship, but I'm married. Now, when I before I got married, I was with this woman, uh, like I don't know, seven years or something like that maybe a little longer than that. I had lax boundaries then. You know, I, I did shit that I would not do now. So as far as boundaries go, it just depends on where you're at in your relationship and what kind of relationship you have. Because if you're talking about a wife, you got to establish boundaries and you got to live by them. You know, you, you got to have them. If you're talking about a girlfriend that you, uh, you know, you really like, you, you deal with whatever boundaries you want to deal with. You know, and, and you know, if it's a girl, me, if it's a girlfriend, I don't talk about boundaries. Bitch, you can do what the fuck you want to do as long as you don't really fucking do it in my face. I mean, I don't want the bitch to go get no motherfucking no pussy and be hanging out with all these dudes. I don't want her to do all that shit. But I know I'm I'm liable to be doing that shit with bitches. So if I tell her about some goddamn boundaries, then she'll be telling me about boundaries. So now, nah, fuck that bitch. Just fuck you want to. I just know she ain't going to do shit because I'm a motherfucker. She don't want to do nothing. I know that. That's why I can be that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, man, that's the same way I am, man. I be trying to tell her, go ahead and do what you do, because I ain't the type of nigga that's going to be like, you know what I'm saying, who you with and all that shit. I ain't that type of dude, because I feel like if my game's strong, you ain't going to fuck over me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you hang yourself. You know, you go out there and do what you do, and I'm going to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to... Now, this girl here, man, I feel like I'm trying to get what you at for is like... I might want to wipe this chick up, because she's just that type of female. You feel me? She 100. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But if I see you, wait, man, I think wait, I this. wait, wait, wait. Look, see, this is another thing about you niggas that I, I just can't stand. If I go to the store, I want a shirt, and I go to a store that sells shirts. They got 150 shirts in there. And the when I, I know what shirt I want, not the exact shirt, but the kind of shirt I want. As soon as I walk in the store, the shirt, that fit my desire is the first shirt I see. I'm buying it. I ain't been to war looking at 150 shirts when I already see a shirt that I fucking want. Shit. See, and you said she's 100. You said she fit all your criteria. And you still shopping. Something wrong with you, man. Yeah, that's real talk, man. I need to hear that, bro. I, re I need I'm to hear being that. Hey, I'm being real with you, man. You know, you calling the shots, and you already said she answered all of them. So what are you waiting on? 
See, this yeah. this is fear, man. This is fear coming up in you. That I, I could be fear of commitment. I don't know. I'm not telling you to go marry this, bro. I ain't telling you none of this shit. I'm saying, man, if she's 100, then you got to go to the next phase. You can't stay at the same phase, and you already recognize she's 100. You passed the phase. You you have recognized something to make you go to the next phase, but you try to stay in the phase that you was at that needed recognition. If you understand what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I feel what you're saying completely, man. Hey, I appreciate that advice, Rose, man. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to have to call back because I got some more questions for you. Come on with it, man. We'll be cool. All right, I'll put you back in the queue. Uh, 856-379, what's your first name and what is your question? 856, you there? Okay. I'll tell you guys what. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that question mark wasn't there. All right, uh, six oh one. I think I had you already. Nine seven three. I had you already. Uh, all right. Let's just go a little more. I got a few more things to say. Uh, this nine seventeen. You know the phone. The call in number is three four seven eight three eight eight four two zero. You know another thing that really interests me is how you know you catch the claim to be pimps and all this shit. You know, don't even know what the fuck uh, the whole pan you for. <laughs> you don't even fucking know it. You know, you, you, you guys are so out of the loop when it comes to the game that, that you don't realize how silly you are. Because if I say to you, man, what is she paying you for, you guys really wouldn't know. You will answer all kinds of things because I'm a king and because it's my realm, it's my world, all this little stupid shit. You know, that ain't why that bitch pay you. That fucking hoe pays you for a specific reason, and she's going to keep paying you as long as you're doing that specific reason. And that specific reason is lacing her. She, if she out on the track doing some shit at 4 o'clock in the morning and she know you in a whole other state and she call your ass, she is depending on you getting her out of whatever trouble she in by kicking some motherfucking game about whatever the shit she's talking about. Otherwise, some fucking fool going crazy, bitch, you know, look at this and do that, the woo-woo-woo, and, and, and you tell her. She expecting you to tell her this shit as if you are standing right there with her. You know, you, you see everything that's going on, and she going to believe everything you're saying because she believe in you like that. And as long as she believe in you like that, she's going to love paying you because that's what hoes pay for. They don't give a fuck about no goddamn money. Them bitches can make money. Why would they be hoes if they're going to worry about money? Shit, they have a job if they want to worry about some money. They fucking hoes because they don't give a fuck about money. You guys need to understand that. How are you going to want to be in the game? You know, <laughs> I have a lot of cats do this. They, will, they talk about they're in the game, and they go to buy a car. And they buy a 15-year-old car. <laughs> Hey, they buy a 15-fucking-year-old car, man. Then they spend all this money fixing it up, making it like you need a ladder to get in and all this goddamn shit. And then, and then they had a the nerve to wonder why the bitch disrespecting them. Because, see, a real pimp don't want no fucking car he got to fix up. This nigga going to buy a new car. You get an X amount. Think about it, man. If your broad is a punk and she's making $150 a day, that's like 10 that's like a thousand fifty a week. So what I'm saying, that's like forty two hundred a month. What I'm saying is that's bare fucking minimum, and that's hell of money for a square motherfucker because you know that's without taxes. So you getting all that money. This ain't two thousand after taxes and shit. You get all forty two hundred. So if you can't formulate some kind of program on that forty two hundred where you can pay your rent, buy a car, and all this goddamn shit, you ain't shit. You got to fucking go buy some kind of old-ass car and put some damn 29-inch uh, wheels on it so you got to jump up in the front. Man, come on, man. You guys do the stupidest shit. you supposed to save two, three, four, whatever thousand, and then go get you a new car. You're supposed to be able to pay that car note, supposed to be able to pay the insurance, whatever it takes to be in that car. You ain't supposed to be worried about making the car note and all that kind of shit like all you motherfuckers do, man. And all you guys so worried about what... You know, real pimp nigga don't even think about man. Man, I'm gonna go get me a vehicle. So let me. I I I I hope I'm not passing people. Up. Let me look through this again. And I see a lot of hell of motherfuckers. Maybe like 
20 callers with all you guys just listening. I know I know I spent hell of a game, and, you, you know, you're really happy to hear it. But I, I do, you know, want to answer some questions. I got 10 more minutes, 9 more minutes. I do want to answer some questions. But back to what I was saying. You know, what I'm really talking about is, you know, how you guys say one thing and do another. You, you dudes that work and you're looking for a girlfriend, you, you, not necessarily a girlfriend, but, you know, something to fuck on or whatever, you motherfuckers do the same thing. It's just you're not uh, doing the same kind of, of faking. You guys fake. You don't, you don't really uh, go for the juggler when it's time. You don't really see that opportune moment, you know, for you to catch the broad because you never really try to catch. You just be doing something. You don't have a plan. Well, if you have a plan to catch and, and the plan starts with saying hello, the moment you say hello, your goddamn plan is intact, and your plan is in, in force, is, is in action. And you feel better. You feel stronger. You feel able to, if you follow this, you, you, you feel like you ain't necessarily going to catch, but you might. You know, you feel much stronger than you do without a plan. You just do. And that's the, that's the power of a plan, planned conversation. Uh, six four six five four seven. Uh, what's your first name, and do you have a question? Hey, what up, brother? Now, right now, I'm just listening to you right now, man. You just listen, okay, bro? All right. I thought you might have a question. All right, brother. All right, so you guys. Uh, hey, let me tell you something. Another thing that I want you to start thinking about is procrastination. You know, you 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 you, you say. You believe that you're qualified to live a certain life. Now, I know I use sports a lot when I use analogies, but I know any athlete worth his salt or butter or whatever. Wait a minute, that's 414. 414 702, do you have a question? What's your first yeah. name in the question? Uh, it's Bruce City. I do have a question. Go ahead, bro. All right, my, my my question is this: It might be a struggle to to get out, but um, you know, like, how do you, you know, what's the thinking behind making making your woman work for you on different levels? So, you know, you was in the pimp game, and you made your woman work for you on that level. Uh, you you got in the you you got married, and you making your woman work for you on that level. You know, now what what about a guy that's, you know, maybe a man that's pulling down uh, six figures? You know, don't really need a woman, you know, for, for money or whatever. Um, you know, you know, just all these different levels. You know, it's 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 it's, it's do you have any anything to say about that? Yeah, man. Let's say that guy is making six figures. I'm sure okay. he has hella projects. Hella projects besides the, the the one thing that's making let's say he's making the six figure because he got a good job. But by him having this good job, he, he's got a lot of time to think about shit he's thinking about. He should be thinking about different shit. As far as getting the bitch to work for him on different levels, you have to make her be responsible for a part of the project, whatever the project is. Man, I um, have, I'm going to give you some game, man. This is, this is some free okay. shit, man. This is why, you know, this is why a uh, motherfucker going to take me and stand me in front of the firing line and just blast my head off because I'll be giving up just too much. But anyway, well, look, I remember a couple times I used this to, uh, on the rich bitch. Not a rich bitch, a couple of rich bitches. And, and it was very simple. It was, it was a, a magazine. I told them that I was going to start a magazine. This is just so I can get me like 25 racks. And, and, and I told them that I was going to start an urban magazine. It was going to be called Urbanomics. It was going to be about the economics that the money that's generated with stuff that made in the hood shit that, you know, making hood. So I was going to get a couple of articles. I put a little mock magazine together, put articles, you know, wrote some articles, put some pictures and shit. Then I told the bitch that this is mock shit. This is like a, a mock uh, uh, get up of the magazine. This is what I want to try to do. And I shot it to her. Man, that bitch sent me 28 grand. And she said oh. she's so happy to help. So what I'm saying is when you get them to work with you, for you, you have to give them something to, in, to, to vest themselves in. Not invest, 
but I'm saying they, they you want them to invest too. But they, you, you know, you you got to give them something that they really want to see happen. You know what I'm saying? And since they like you, they want to see anything you doing happen other than putting your hand out asking for some money. And when you show them some shit like that, you making a move, a business move. You ain't really asking for no money. And the bitch likes right. you and she want to help you. So she's going she gonna to try her best to see you get on. And she's going to reach you. Uh, okay, so let me ask you this then. Okay, so so eventually, you know, as, as a man uh, achieves more success, as far as uh, the women that he chooses, uh, should he eventually, you know, try to reach, you know, high and, and, and seek those, you know, seek those women out that might have, uh, no matter where he at, you know, if, if he worth, you know, a quarter million, you know, should, should he be, you know, uh, trying to catch, you know, maybe a, a woman that's worth, you know, a million or, you know, five million, should, should that really be his aim at that, at that point? Well, I mean, if you want to look at it like that, I can't say no. I mean, yeah, okay. you should be thinking that, but, but I wouldn't think that shit. You know, if I had any fucking money, I would be thinking about what the fuck I can do to generate more. And any bitch okay. that I fucked with, if she was broke, I would have a way for her to help me. And if the bitch had hella money, I'd have a way for her to help me. So I wouldn't limit myself to a particular kind of bitch. You know, like you do, you limiting yourself when you think like that. Any bitch that come to you, man, and, and put herself in, under your instruction is capable of taking you to the next level of where you're trying to go or at least assisting you in getting there. So th when okay. you think like that, you, you have to have things for the bitch to do. So, you know, you, you kind of like looking for the easy way. You know, you're not trying to build a way. You know, that's some of you, you youngsters, all you guys do that. You, you look for the easy way. You don't want to build or make a way. You you invest in the bitch, not in money. You invest uh, in the bitch with time that you spend kicking game, giving her shit to do, making sure she do it this way only. And if she do it any other way and it's successful, let's say you want her to get you this and you want her to do it this way, and she go get you this, but she did it another way. You're supposed to say, bitch, I don't want that shit. I don't give a fuck. You can't buy me. You can't give me what I didn't ask for. You know, I want what I want. That's training that bitch. She'll take that shit back and go do it again the way you want her to do it. And when she do that, then you got to show her some kind of appreciation. You ain't got a motherfucking fucking bitch or nothing. But, you know, you got to do some slick shit to show her you, you recognize you. you ain't got to tell her you doing it. But I'm saying I'll motherfucking go. Let me tell you what some slick shit is just for your information. You ain't got okay. to really go buy nothing. You could go to 31 Flavors. Know that bitch like banana nut ice cream. Go to 31 Flavors and just get her a whole little quart. <laughs> and come over there and say, baby, I just was thinking about you. Here, eat this shit. Had that bitch eat it. I, I, done did that. I done brought that shit to a bitch on the stroll. Bitch, get in the car and eat this shit. I just, I know you like this, uh, some kind of, I remember that was some uh, green mint shit. Some green mint ice, ice cream. I bought that shit. You eat this shit, bitch. Oh. You just you just sent your motherfucker. I know, baby. Go get my motherfucking money. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I I'm, I, that, 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 you got to. I tell you, man. I don't know if you have it, uh, but if you don't, go to my go, uh, hit my email uh, info at askrosebud.com so I can email you my ABPs. Always be playing in the uh, alpha male rule. The rules how to become alpha. You understand? And it'll tell you, man, you got to always be playing. This is how you really, to answer that first question for real, you have to always be playing if you want to have a broad supporting you or supporting what your goals are. You can't ever just, like, not be thinking of what to do. Now, the bad part about that is that it's hard for you to sleep because you don't never stop thinking. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm always goddamn thinking. But it's hard for me to go to sleep. But but other than that, man, I'm on it, man. And bitches love me, man. Hey, man, get at me, man. See, see me next week, man. Uh, let me get six five one five five seven. It's gonna be my last last question. What's your first? What's your question? What's your first name, bro? It's v Immaculate, man. What's going on? Imma v Immaculate. What's happening with you? Nothing, man. Got a couple questions for you, man. Um, All right, what's up? This, this first one, um, like you know, I got a few several ways that I do it, but I wanted to know what you 
do used to do when uh, you know when, in that initial conversation to challenge a chick with your word instead of you know the the I know you you want to add on like a little compliment or whatever you're thinking or whatever you're gonna do, but then I always like to throw in like a, a verbal like challenge not not anything major, but enough to get her I put her on her toes but you know you know what I'm saying so what what are some things that you do. Well, I mean, I'm kind of understanding you. So if I am understanding you, saying you asking me, uh, will I say something like, "Girl, you probably gonna sit here and listen to me, and you ain't gonna bust a grape." <laughs> I mean, yeah, I tell yeah. Her like, I, I tell her yeah. something like that. You know, you 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 the kind of woman have me spilling my guts out, and you ain't gonna bust a grape. And, and you know, she gonna have to convince me she would after that. You know, what well, 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 I'm saying. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is all of that depends on the situation because there is some choice things you could say to her depending on the situation. But I, I kind of was just feeling what you was asking, and I just used that. That may not be the choice one for the situation or a, for the situation or any of the you speaking on in particular, but shit like that, you have to do it, man. And, and, and when, you, when you do challenge them, you, you got to challenge them and give them uh, uh, example of what they should be doing, you know, all the time saying that they, you know, they ain't got the nuts to do it like that. You know, you you, mm-hmm. say, you say you want to, you want these fake bras, man. You know, you you gonna sit up here, you know, you talking about you ain't scared to get with no real shit. You know, you you sitting up here listening to me talking to me, talking about how you like this, like that, seeing how real it is. You ain't gonna bust a grape like all the fakes. <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking you gotta. That puts a chick and or puts you automatically kind of in that perspective in her mind. Like you ain't gonna jump through no hoops. You ain't that type of nigga. So you know it really frames that thing, that conversation from the get go. Like a couple things I might say, and I, I, I pretty much have it so it's all situational, kind of like in my arsenal. But like you know, <laughs> I mean, even though it's simple, like um, I want more. You seem like I, I, you I to you, man, smart, but but. I, I'm laughing because you prepared like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> Your ass is prepared, man. You, you you got you got what you finna use. You got an alternate. You know you ready, man. Your ass you gonna you gonna be just on the monster when you start really coming up like you're trying to do. Yeah, man. I got a uh, what is this there? Like you, I mean, it's just something so simple, like you. You seem like you're really smart. And then, you know, not right away, but in the first minute, she's going to try to prove herself. She's not going to, or she's going to at least be thinking, damn, I don't want to say anything dumb. And, I mean, that's happened before. And it kind of, you can see the different look in the female's eye when you do these things. Like, I mean, shoot. Hey, hey but let me you, tell you, let me tell you what you do after that. Vermacula, let me tell you what you do after that. You, you say, you look like you're pretty smart, you know, and, and you know that this girl is starting to think about, oh, man, I hope I don't see that damn shit. You wait about two or three minutes, and then you say, but you know what, baby, I hope you don't start tripping at all and start thinking that I think you have to be smart and blah. See, otherwise you're reading her mind then, see, and that's really he's going to catch because she wait, wait, is wait, 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 thinking wait, that. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Say that again, man, because you went like a thousand miles an hour with that one. <laughs> <laughs> me so what, I, what I'm saying, man, what I'm saying is, you know, you just said this, and you know, you just said she looked like she's smart, and you know, and you can see in her eyes that she's thinking, oh, God, I don't want to say nothing silly. You know, I, I want to live up to this compliment he gave me. So to make you look sharp as fuck, you, you wait a couple of minutes, and you keep talking. And then you say, because, you know, I really, you add this, I really don't want you, you know, tripping about me you know, or not me, tripping about trying to be smart, because I ain't really saying I want you to have to be, the, you know, some kind of professor with a Ph.D. or Whatever you say to take that pressure off her. See, that's going to calm her down, and that's going to make her think, damn, he read my mind. <laughs> that's, I'm telling you, man, see, that's what your conversation is for. It's for, you, it's damn, for to give place. you action. That's a okay. man. Because my thing is, I would keep that tension on the whole time, which would have some positive benefits. But I, you know, I like that, uh, like throwing a, a curveball. She, you know, thinks you're gonna go, 
tying inside on her ass. Okay. Hey, 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 but see, see, the thing about having uh, the shit prepared, and especially because when you use that again, you're going to expect some of the responses that this broad gave you from coming from whatever broad you're using it on. But you're going to take it to this next level next time. <laughs> and you're going to see how this shit is all, it's it, it just, it, it's a stepping, everything is a stepping stone. Whatever you say and whatever her response is, is the next step, is the stepping stone to the next thing. And whatever you say is the actual next step. And then her response is the stepping stone to the next thing. And whatever you say is, is just keeping on until you get your ultimate, what your desire is. Mm -hmm. I see how what you're saying can be applied to almost like a principle as far as, um, you know, you want to put on the pressure, you want to add tension, and then be the one to always take it away. So she's off. The man, team. because you, hey, man, you, dude, be asking, he was asking me, well, what, what's the God thing, man? Why do they, you know, piss me thinking that they're gods and all this? Because we can do what you just said, man. We, we take you to a point, and then we alleviate it. You know, you can sure. see it, you know, and, and then we do it again. And we just keep doing it. You know, it, it, but but what we actually right. are doing, what we're actually doing is training or 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 programming the the particular woman into whatever our program is, and you have to do it by by controlling the highs and lows of their lives. You know, you you have to be in control of what the high and the low, and you have to periodically bring those things about. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Back, yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay, one more question, then I'm going to have to put you back. Yeah, I got one more question, so I'll come back. All right. All right. What is it? Oh, I thought you had to put me in the queue. All right, no, uh, what is your next question? No, because, you know, when I meet a chick, sometimes the vibe, it just gets, uh, really gets cool, and it's been happening lately, and I'll sit up and talk to a chick for like a few hours sometimes on the first meeting. Now, do you think that's yeah, too long? Yeah, do you, do you, hey, now, I was going to say, man, you end up getting that pussy or what, man? I'm not saying you got to be looking for pussy, but, yeah, you I know. Yeah, I mean, she's like American. Like, I mean, chick, I mean, just full cooperation. But then I'm like, well, you know, well, listen, I'm just listen, one in my listen, mouth. No, 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 listen, listen. If you get in full cooperation and you see how this stuff is in your control. You're actually seeing and manipulating the, the uh, environment. To, it actually ends up the way you want it. Brother, mm -hmm. relax, pat yourself on the back, and understand that the shit is working, and enjoy your fucking self. Don't overthink the shit. Don't try to make the shit no more than what you was actually trying to get from Jump Street, and that was success. <laughs> now you're a successful motherfucker in this area. Now, if you want to go further... You know, you want to start getting more shit. You know, you can. But what I'm saying is the the uh, the actual reasons, well, at least part of the reason, that you wanted these courses was to catch, be able to catch, be able to know when you are catching. You know, you just you you just sound like you know all this shit now, man. So you, you just should be a happy camper and realize for the rest of your life you're going to be seeing all this shit that you see. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, gonna make long, you, it's gonna make it's gonna make you a motherfucker, man. It's, it's but you don't think that's too long, though. That's that's too what? You don't think that's too long a conversation to be giving it like you're giving it take too much of your free time off top like hey, that? Hell yeah, two hours two hours is way too long, man. But you say you get she's you know in full submission, so I'm thinking that she didn't hit the pussy and everything during those two hours. Two hours before you leave a particular uh, diner or some hell, yeah, that's too long. Well, not really, man. <laughs> uh, not really, man. No, listen. Let me tell you something, man. If you, you know, really seeing that the shit is cool with the bra, then it's up to you what you want to do. If you see that your end result can be met, but you ain't ready to meet it, that's cool. That's up to you. You know, if you, as long as you, see, what I'm talking about, where I'm trying to get, get you to go is to see and be in control of what's going on. If you can see that you know where this is leading and you can see that you're going to get what you want and you still want to talk for two hours or whatever, then you can do it. I wouldn't want to do that shit. 
But you can do it if you want to. <laughs> and it wouldn't be <laughs> it wouldn't be negative if you did it, man. Maybe you just you know wanted to talk, man. And you know motherfuckers start talking about red, and the next thing you know, green come up and blue, and you just had all kind of shit to talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I love hearing that shit from you, man. That shit is dope, man. I'm glad to hear this. Hey, you guys don't know, man. Get the confidence courses, man. This fucking shit is real. It helps you, and it will have you thinking just like this brother thinking, seeing and experiencing all this lovely shit that life has to offer. Hey, hey, for Max, I'm gonna put you back in the queue, man. And I'm gonna close out, yeah. man. I'm like 50 years early. Well, you know what? I ain't finna stop. You know what? I'm actually having a good time, man. You know what? I I, I kind of miss my Monday night, you know, and I, I have I have to fucking uh, uh uh put everything in this night, and and and, and, and it's okay because Stay Fly that called earlier, you know, he he told, he made he made sure that I understood, but he ain't, he said, well, Rose, I ain't trying to hit no pimp shit. <laughs> all right, brother. I'm not trying to spit pimp shit at you. That's what I want you, want you all to know. I ain't trying to make this a pimp show. I just am a motherfucker that, you know, I've always been partial to pimps because that's what I was. But I'm a fucking square. L7 to the max. Live by checks that people pay me. So, you know, that ain't got nothing to do with no game. I just happen to have game. So I'm, I'm just one of these dudes that, that you're just very fortunate to know, man. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm too known horn, but I'm really not too known horn. I'm not trying to say that you'll never, ever meet a person like me, but when have you or when will you, you think? Because, you know, there's too much I know. There's too much that I've experienced. I live, I live with, I've already lived what you're going to live. I've already learned what you're going to, I've forgotten what you're going to learn. This the stuff that you're doing, I'm not saying is less, than important. What I'm saying is take advantage of a motherfucker that has already done it. Take advantage of it. Get what's out there for you. Because let me just say this too. I have never been in an era of the game where so many motherfuckers only had one bitch. So many motherfuckers was doing not good. Very slow. You know, as far as little money. Because if, if I was selling this shit that I'm selling right now back in my day up here, man, I'd have been a rich-ass motherfucker. Niggas would have bought the hell out of this shit, even if they wouldn't have never fucking used it. They would have bought it just to let me know they have the money and they could buy the shit. <laughs> that's, that's, why they, that's why they would have did it. That's how I would have did it. I would have bought it and listened to it and five minutes in, I would have cut that goddamn shit off like I did when I first bought the shit. Yeah. Because when I, I bought it, man, I don't want to hear that damn shit. You know, motherfucker, I already got a bunch of bitches and a bunch of money, man. I ain't no motherfucking unconfident motherfucker. But then uh, some made me listen to it again, I don't know, about a year later or something like that. And that's when I really got my shit sharp. So what I want you guys to understand is you can catch me. You can, you know, follow me on, on Twitter at, at Mr. Rosebud. You can catch me uh, at info at Rosebud. Uh, Info at AskRosebud.com, and you can go to my site, AskRosebud.com, and see, you know, what I got to offer. I don't have nothing new up there yet. You know, I'm doing some, I'm doing just, just so much shit is going on. You just don't know. A lot of shit is going on. A lot of positive stuff is going on for me. But with that said, I don't see 516. God damn it, I'm glad you got on there, bro. I'm going to ask what your question is. I'm going to get busy and go. Hey, 516-589, what's your first name? What's your question? Peace, Skrillex. Peace, Skrillex from Long Island. What's poppin'? What's up, man? We're from Long Island. Yeah, but don't get, don't get it twisted, man. We do good out here, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's what's your question? All right. The question is this: um, Do you do you charge people to actually come see you live in person? That way we can get you know actually see you in person, just like that. I haven't had any, like, uh, classes like that, but I've been getting a lot of requests lately, man, so I'm liable to have to put it together like that, but, you know, I will. Uh, I have coaching that, you know, if you need some coaching, you can that's done over the phone one-on-one, <laughs> excuse me, and people really gravitate to it because I can deal with their individual 
problem in a, an atmosphere where they don't have to be kind of, you know, embarrassed or at all, because, you know, here even though people don't see you, you're still kind of embarrassed to hear your voice. But uh, there's just a lot of things going on, man. Get at me, man. On, on my uh, email, info at yeah, info at asrosebud.com, man. Yeah, I, I, I got you. I got you. You know, it's all good. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm gonna email you, man. That shit, cause I'm I'm trying to do that instead, cause like I don't really need to do phone conversations. I rather do live in person, just just to get the feel of of, of how your energy is. Even though I kind of already know what it's like, it's just it's just good to get the hundred percent, or even one hundred and ten percent understanding of it. Long, <clears throat> excuse me. Long as when we do make some kind of arrangements, you follow through. We gonna be cool, man. So just get at me, all right. Okay, right, you know, four, I'm going to put you back in the queue, man. 414-702. What's your first name and what's your question? Uh, man, it's, it's Bruce City again, man. But uh, I was just reflecting on uh, on your answer to my question. And uh, and and it seemed like what you said was just that, uh, you know, uh, uh, no matter what level I'm on, a woman got the shit to get off the pot. You know what I mean? She got to be she, she got to be able to... Uh, to uh, cope with what I'm doing at that time, obviously, uh, you know, I got to give her roles and responsibilities. I get that, but uh, uh, you know, she got to be able to hang. If she can't hang, then you know, she got to get off, right? Well, yeah, man. Even though, see, okay, this, okay, okay. This, no, listen. Let me tell you something. You know, I didn't have a lot of people on here, and and I I kind of remember your voice, but I don't remember okay. your actual question. But listen, the, okay. the way the things the things you said in, in description, I could unequivocally say yes to man. You do it does mean uh, you got to shit or get, get up off the pot, man. You know you, you you can't. That's what that's what is wrong with you guys today. Uh, you know this, but you don't enforce this. You know, you, 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 you don't enforce these things that make you strong men, that make whatever your field of endeavor is. You know, you don't, you know what will make you strong or what could possibly make you strong, but when the time comes for you to do the strong thing, you don't do it. You, you take the time to maybe call me later and talk about it, not necessarily me, but my point is do shit when the shit happens. You know, stand to the strength of what you're thinking what it represents, and you'll see women will flock to you because to this day, I have to dodge women, man. I don't ever, I don't have no women phone numbers. I don't call no fucking women, but I, I'm just always getting action, man. Wherever I go, man, Pet Boys, fucking AutoZone, I mean, somewhere, the dollar store. You know, I'm just everywhere I go, man. Goddamn, man, this bitch, you leave me the fuck alone. Shit. It, 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 it's, it's like honey, man, to be. It's just, I'm just a motherfucker, man, and I want you to be a motherfucker. And the way you be a motherfucker is to realize that you have genuine thoughts that are correct and don't be afraid to act on them. And once you start doing that and you act on your actual thought and your thought works, it turns into confidence. I'm telling you, man, that's all a lot of you brothers missing is that, that real confidence. It's just hold, hold it on to that position of manhood, right? Exactly, man, you know, because that's yeah. what time it is, man. Yeah. The, woman, the woman will have you thinking she ain't challenging your manhood, but at the, the first chance she gets to tell you, she's going to show you how you ain't being a man. She just, that's just how they, they primed. So just, just you know, anytime, man, kick it with me. You know my email. You know, every Sunday, 8 o'clock, 601-331, I'm going to get you. I said I was, this said 414 was my last one, but fuck it. I'm, you know, you guys got me wrong. 414, I'm going to put you back in. 601-331, what is your first name and what's your question? Yeah, Rose, this once again out of Jacktown, man. You know, I had hit you earlier about that relationship advice. But, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, I got another question about that, man. Okay, how important is it to be the same nigga you was at first when you was, when you first started fucking with the chick, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I first started fucking with her, you know, I was just this nigga just fucking with a lot of bitches and she knew that, you know what I'm saying? And how how important <laughs> is it to keep that swagger when you fucking with her so, you know what I'm saying, so the interest will still be there. Let, you know, let, me, let, me like, let me answer you like this, man. There is a saying in the game. The way you call her is the way you got to keep her. 
You can't catch her one way and then turn some other kind of way while you got her because you didn't fail for her and shit. You, you caught the bitch, being, you know, woo-woo, I'm like this here, woo-woo. Now you're nuts, you know. <laughs> No, you didn't like her, so so you didn't change. Nah, the broad ain't gonna respond to that like that. She can respond to the change, which means she might not like it. She might be gone. But if you be like the way you caught her the whole time you have her and still like her, you know what I'm saying? You just A B T always be playing. You can't let the fact that you like her change how you are. So you got to play now. Your whole existence and being around her is playing, but that ain't no job. That's like fun. You know, once you realize that, you know, you don't run from it, you just start playing. And you realize, man, I, I know how to play. <laughs> you know, this should be fun, man. You just you just got to play your hand, man. So what you like the bitch, man? So fucking what? You there, man? Okay, so what? Give me Yeah, I, yeah no. I'll see you on that. Yeah, so, so like her, man. And still be that nigga. Like her, man. She, you just don't get to have the bitch, man. <laughs> that's all you you just gonna get to have her, man. That's all that's gonna happen. So no what doubt, the hell are no you doubt. doing, man? You know what no I'm doubt. saying? If no if doubt. you be if you let's say tomorrow when you talk to that and you know what? You could do it tomorrow. Or tonight. The very next time you talk to her, you ain't gotta ease into it, you ain't gotta sneak into it and let flip and go back to that nigga. Don't explain shit. I'm just tell her, if she don't understand it, well, call me when you do, bitch. <laughs> I ain't saying <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm just hey, being real, man. Boy, you a cold-ass hey, nigga, boy. Hey, 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 that's, hey. Hey, hey, but ain't that the ain't that the nigga she fell yeah. for, man? Hey, 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 that's some real shit, bro. That's real. I'm gonna try. I'm just too. saying, you ain't had to tell me, man. I'm a nigga that know. I know that's the nigga she fell for. Go back to being that nigga. And so, hey, as soon as you go back to being that nigga, about three or four times after you didn't establish that you this nigga, bust her out again, being this nigga, and don't change after you get through. Establish your debt. Now, yeah, no doubt, no I'm, doubt. Hey, I'm giving you, see, like I said earlier in my show, this is why you fortunate, all of you are fortunate to kick it with me because I'm one of the few motherfuckers with the information that you need. And I'm willing to give it to you, motherfucking ass. I got, I, got a, I got broader goals, you know, so you can think I'm giving shit away, but I'm not. Everything's working out fine for me. See, I'm blogging that. Blog Radio, Rosebud, yeah. All right, now listen. I didn't went over time. I didn't got you know. I'm put you back in six oh one. Thanks for calling. Everybody that called, thank you. Everybody that had questions, thank you. My shows, man. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna integrate. You know, both of them. You know, I really am just so. I don't know. You know, I really like. I I, I kind of like the separating them, but. It's cool the way things are going anyway, because you know I still get the calls from both both people I'm seeing. So so it is cool. I just I just have to have some answers. I just, you know what? I just have to have answers for both sides of the coin, man. It's sit on one side. Fuck it. That's me. I'm a capable brother. So look, peace out. I'm gone, man. I'm really happy about this episode here. You know, uh, check me out in my archive. And any question you have about tonight, hit me up on. Facebook or on my email, and, you know, we can get with it. Be cool. Okay, Kevin, for the grand prize of $1 million, what color is the White House? Um, I know this, I know this, I know this. Um, five seconds. Oh, Switching to GEICO could save you a bunch of money on car insurance? Okay. Judges? That's true, Kevin. They'll allow it. Congratulations. You're a winner. Woo! GEICO. Because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer. My dad is big on safety, so the Toyota Highlander with Safety Sense is perfect for him. It's also great for me because I daydream. It comes with pedestrian detection, which stops for Bigfoot should he step in front of us. Only it could do my homework.
Qualified lessees can lease a stylish new 2017 Highlander LE for only $299 a month for 36 months with $29.99 due at signing. Toyota, let's go places. Drivers should always be responsible for their own safe driving. Depending on the conditions of the roads, vehicles, weather, etc., the systems may not work as intended. Visit gstoffers.com for details. Offers available at Lexington and 5117.